Hardyman and Duckett's Grove are historic gardens, but right in the middle of Carlow town is an oasis of calm and beauty, a much newer garden developed over the past six years. The Delta Sensory Gardens are a series of interconnecting gardens of a multi-sensory nature, covering two and a half acres. We have 15 different gardens. They're all based around the five senses, seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting and touching. So we actively encourage people when they come to squeeze the leaves, to taste the leaves, to taste the berries. Uh, particularly with children, we think it's really important that they learn how to wet their hands in the various fountains and uh, they can see um, with lots of metal, lots of timber, lots of wood. So they're getting an all-round experience. Our centre is a service for adults in County Carlo and beyond and we would have 90 service users here every day, people with moderate and severe and profound disabilities and autism. And originally the idea was to have an outdoor area that people uh, could use and could benefit from. And the, if, from a small seed we grew to the idea of building these gardens. They will have, uh, I suppose, a monetary income to us in that we welcome the public to come and visit our gardens. Uh, they pay us a small charge for coming in which goes back towards the electricity and the cost of running the gardens. Gordon Ledbetter, who designed the National Garden Centre in Kilquaid, was the overall designer for these gardens. And then we have people like Mary Reynolds, who won a gold medal in Chelsea. Mary did our, our, our wild Irish garden, which has to be seen to be believed. Elma Fenton, also a gold medal winner in Chelsea, she did our, our um, sunken garden for us. And Jimmy Blake from Huntingbrook Gardens, we have a prairie garden designed by Jimmy Blake. Beautiful sculptures, as I'm sure you've seen, uh, created by Bob Fraser. Seven people worked on this project with a project manager. Some of them have gone on now to full-time employment and some of them are still here with us.